going out to a bridal shower. So I'm running late as usual. See you there. Well, that was bridal shower day. <laughs> it was out in O'Fallon, Missouri, an area where we used to live 20 years ago, briefly. And uh, it was very nice. The mother of the groom, Jane, the one that, we, that went like this, like, hi, Steve's mom. She, uh, she threw the shindig and it was really nice. Uh, the appetizer bar had a salad deep-fried dill pickle spears, which were delicious. I'm going to have to learn how to make those. Potato skins with cheese and bacon bits on it. Bosco sticks, which are like little mini bread, bread sticks that have mozzarella cheese inside. And toasted ravioli, which if you are in St. Louis, it's a St. Louis thing, if you have a chance to try toasted ravioli, please do. I think you'll like it. And chicken wings, and then a cake later. Um, got to meet both moms, some of their friends and relatives, and the people in the bridal party. It was very nice. We played two games. We played Who Has the Groom, where everyone chooses an envelope blindly, and we all open it together. And inside the picture of this fella in a tuxedo, and one person has the picture of the fella in the tuxedo with Steve's face glued on top. <laughs> it was a good laugh. And the other game we played was What's in Your Purse? Lists of things were handed out to us, and each thing, various things had different points attached to them. Various things you, that people, ladies carry in their purses. I had just recently cleaned out my purse, so I only had about 88 points worth. There were ladies that had way over 200 points. They are very prepared. They carry everything. <laughs> Holy moly. And then the little, the young lady that was sitting and drawing is Steve's niece, his oldest brother's daughter, Gwyneth. She's 13. She'll be 14 Monday, I think. And uh, she loves to draw and cartoon. She's making a graphic novel and she's making it all anime style. Her characters are half realistic looking and half anime. Kind of morphing like. She's a very good artist. If, if you don't see her work, whatever kind she does, she might thinking of being a medical uh, artist or even a police profile artist is what she's thinking of doing. But I, I think whatever she chooses to do artistically is going to be very successful. She's very talented. And uh, drove out by the old homestead where we used to live. The house that used to be yellow is now painted white. 
And the two trees in the front yard used to be little sticks when we planted them. When the boys got twig to plant for reading all these books at school and they planted them and they're now grown up trees. I stopped by Trader Joe's on the way home and I got a big container of strawberries. I love strawberries. I love them so much I even know how to say strawberry in German, in Italian, in Spanish. <laughs> Italian and Spanish is pretty much the same. Fresas. And uh, in German it's Erdbeeren. So yum. Strawberries are good for you. And then I stopped by Aldi's which was down the street from Trader Joe's. And uh, I didn't find what I was looking for. I don't really need it but I thought since I was there I'd look for it. So I was backing out of my parking space and you back out and you stop and then you put it in gear to go forward. Well in front of me was someone coming out of the store with a cart and they were kind of in the way so I was waiting on them. Behind me was someone anxious to get my parking space and to the right of me was this giant SUV starting to back out. Like holy crap. So I go honk honk like hey I'm here. <laughs> No, they kept coming. They kept coming. It looked like a disaster in slow motion. So I honked longer, you know, honk, honk. They kept coming, and they kept coming. If they hit that door, it's going to be the door that I have to open to reach across and open the driver's door, and I won't be able to get in the car unless I crawl in through the back and over the seats, and I'm not going to do that. And I started freaking out. I laid on the horn. Honk! Everyone around just stopped what they were doing and they I'm thinking, oh for God's sakes, people help me yell, scream. If you can't do anything, just yell and scream. So I'm yelling and screaming and laying on the horn. I'm going, stop, stop, stop. Stop within a cat's whisker of the car. Holy crap. That person should not be driving. Oh my God. I got home and I was so hot and sweaty that I came in here, peeled off my clothes and laid under here, laid under that fan here on the bed until I was cooled down. I also got the electric bill today, $178 for one month. Last month it was $62. So it's like almost, just about tripled. And I'm like, my God, this is terrible. I am not going to be able to be cool this summer at all. Hmm. And I thought, well, how the hell, unless the air conditioning unit is just really chugging and not working, I don't know. Or, when I'm not here, the cat is using every electric convenience possible in this house. Make, using the cake mixer, the blender, the toaster, the refrigerator, open and uh, the TV on, the radio on, what else could he be using? A hair dryer? Thrall, have you been doing that? <laughs> no, it's just I'm just gonna have to be, to be more diligent and try to be more thrifty. It's gonna be a tough summer if it's gonna be that hot all the time. Well, gotta think to the future. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow I will be sewing on that dress. I just didn't have it in me to do it today. And later in the week it's supposed to cool down to 83 degrees. I will choose that day to mow the grass. But until then, upward and onward. <laughs>